My name is Lini Ndlovu. I live in Zimbabwe. My city being Bulawayo, the second capital city of Zimbabwe. The capital city being Harare. I'm here as an advocate for children living with hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus being a condition whereby there is excess fluids in the brain. These excess fluids, they're causing the head to grow big and gradually getting bigger. And when this condition is not treated, the child can die because this condition doesn't have a cure at the moment. Growing up from a family that was very extended, my father had so much love for people and he would take in a lot of our relatives so that we could live with them. I cannot even remember a time that we were alone as a family in our house. My father would always take in somebody and it just taught me that love makes you look around yourself. So I fell in love in our neighborhood with a certain young guy of about um, eight years old. The guy was called Remy Kumalo and I fell in love with this child. I only knew the head was so big, but I didn't know what she was suffering, what he was suffering <coughs> from. But from the time that I got fond of him and that I started uh, talking to him, I realized the child was so intelligent. So we would interact with Romeo, we will talk. But I started realizing that at some point, or at some days, he will just get these very bad migraines, very strong headaches. And I just wanted to know and understand what is happening. This was when I was growing up and I was just uh, 20, maybe I was just around 28 years old. I started wanting to understand and I went to the parents to just hear more about uh, what was it that he was suffering from as a child. And this was very disturbing from the way that I looked at it. And when I started uh, befriending the parents, I realized that uh, there was no one in Bulawayo who could treat uh, uh, Romeo. There was no neurosurgeon in, at, in, at our big hospital here in Bulawayo. So I realized that they were taking the child even in our capital city in Harare or in South Africa for the child to get treatment. So it, it got me concerned and I got engaged with this child up to an extent that when they were taking this child to Harare, I would even uh, get out of my way and uh, try and also uh, finance everything that they were going through. So in the long run, I lost this child and from losing, the, uh, 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 from uh, this child died and I lost the child. But uh, 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 it's, uh, it, 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 I was burdened. I was burdened. So I, I, I started visiting the, our main hospital, which is in Pillow Hospital. And when I got to the hospital, I realized that there were so many of them who were like that. I have had so many challenges when it comes to resource mobilization and uh, financing the projects of the kids. But um, as I have... Uh, partnered with the city council. They have managed to give me land where I want to put up a, um, a rehabilitation center for them, a hospital and a, a school for them. And um, I haven't managed to get any donor to help me build any structure there. The structure is still open, but uh, I've been trying to work with the caregivers of which you cannot uh, separate the caregiver of a hydrocephalus child from the child. The caregiver is like a patient also because these children, because of their condition, they, they need to be with the caregivers almost three quarters of the time. So we, 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 we have got um, 
we, we are not only taking care of the hydrocephalus children, but we are also taking care of the, the, the caregivers of the hydrocephalus, which are the mothers and the fathers of the hydrocephalus, and those who are being taken care, we are being taken care by other caregivers in the families. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying to work out a program where we, we, we can fence the land and maybe start projects that are income generating so that we can support these children. So we have been looking at having maybe an aqua, aqua project where we can be uh, rearing our fishes and then sell them so that we can have at least capital that can be running. In this project, we're thinking that it can be run by the caregivers themselves so that we can be able to sustain the caregivers because it is very difficult because most of these children come from less privileged homes where you find that even even basic food stuffs they don't have so we are trying by all means to just see what we can do caregivers are suffering from the fact that they are taking care of these kids 24/7 well, I was encouraged to register because of the work that I was doing with these kids. So I registered and uh, I started uh, taking care of these kids legally. I would make sure that I help them pay their medical fees. I will make sure that I help them uh, uh, manage their um, school fees. Uh, I would assist them with food and nutrition. Uh, at this point, I was taking from my own pocket. So, uh, it went on. I started um, partnering with other organizations. As, as for now, I have partnered with the uh, Ministry of Health, which we are signing our um, MOUs very soon. And uh, there are other host private hospitals like Island Hospice, that I have uh, joined hands with, which are also m assisting my kids uh, uh, medically, psychologically, and uh, with uh, mental help. Because uh, what my main thrust is, um, I want to have a follow through after these children when the neurosurgeons uh, operate them and insert the chance. I want to take, I, I get in the, gap, in the gap of taking over and seeing that their psychological health is proper and uh, their mental health is okay and I help them emotionally since you know that see, hydrocephalus is incurable and it, is, uh, uh, it um, needs continuation and constant checkups. So I make sure that they make their regular visits to doctors. My main problem is resources, resource mobilization. Um, as I have partnered with Mpilo, I managed to partner with Mpilo, which is one of the largest hospitals here. That, uh, that is a government hospital and that takes in a wide 